some much needed relief, hopefully on the way for travelers. The FAA is taking steps to ease airspace chaos, the agency says, as we approach this holiday season. As of six this morning, airlines were canceling 3% of their flights as opposed to the previous 6%. Officials say the rollback comes as more air traffic controllers are returning to work following the government reopening on Wednesday night. Now, nonetheless, airports across the country continue struggling with serious staffing shortages. The FAA saying it needs thousands of new controllers in the next few years to keep up with demand and to keep delays manageable. Now, there is a push underway to recruit that next generation of air traffic controllers. Vaughn College in Queens holding an open house for students interested in entering the field. Fox 5's Meredith Gorman takes a visit there, joins us live in the newsroom with what she found out. Hi, Meredith. Hey, Arthur. Yeah, so Vaughn College opened its doors on Saturday earlier today to students curious about a career in air traffic control. Now, while the government shutdown is over now, the air traffic control shortage is not. And to put it in perspective, even before the shutdown, the FAA was already dealing with a shortage of about 3,000 air traffic controllers. And here's where Vaughn College in Queens comes in. Now, it's one of a handful of schools in the nation selected for the FAA's Enhanced Air Traffic Collegiate Training Training initiative. At Saturday's open house, dozens of prospective students showed up to learn about the program. Dr. George Tracy, a professor of aviation who focuses on air traffic control, says the enhanced program changes the entire pathway. Instead of graduates going to the FAA Academy in Oklahoma City, they go directly into an air traffic control facility, a move the FAA designed to speed up the pipeline and get more controllers on the job quickly. The enhanced program 100% will get jobs. The FAA has committed to putting them in an air traffic facility within 30 days after graduation, assuming they are successful. Some of the students already enrolled are part of that enhanced track, which adds about six months of specialized training after the standard curriculum, while others are taking ATC specialized courses and drawn to the possibility of joining a career path that is in need of more employees knowing that you're part of a bigger picture just because what we're doing here is a very small step to get us into a bigger role in terms of just like helping any airport across the country just because there's the shortage happening and a lot of people are hurting from it and the biggest thing is the safety factor. I thrive really well under stress and it is a more stressful job so it's just something that always intrigues me um, knowing that like every single word that you say like the intention behind it matters um, every word you say every pause you make they all have an impact and being an air traffic controller is a stressful job. The high turnover rate shows it. Now, most don't take it through or don't make it through rather through the first few years. And there's also a mandatory retirement age of 56 years old. Now, as of May, there were about 14,000 air traffic controllers working for the FAA. Arthur? 15,000 more. All right. Thank you so much, Meredith.